Hello everyone. Uh, our project is a remotely controlled robotic arm with a parallel simulation in Blender software. Uh, this we are doing as a project, as a course project, Embedded Systems Lab. Our team is, he is Shravan, our team leader, Sonika, Ramana, Mauli and myself, Kiran Maruti. I will give a brief structure of our project. There is a mechanical arm which is made up of metal strips and potentiometers are connected to it. Uh, wires from the potentiometers are connected to the ADCs of the spark file. These values are sent to the computer through Zigbee modules. In the computer, the Blender simulation software will be running along with Python scripts. The, potentio the potentiometer values are calibrated here and sent to the simulated arm so that it, up it updates its state. These values are also sent to the robotic arm. In this way, we can see the movements of the mechanical arm replicated in the robotic arm. Now, we will see a demo of our project, a simulation of bomb diffusion. This is a demo of our project. Now, here we are diffusing a dummy bomb with our robotic arm and uh, this is controlled by the mechanical arm uh, that is in the hands of Shravan. So, now uh, the bomb has three wires and we have to uh, cut the white, wi uh, white wire. So, he will do it now. Okay, now we have successfully cut the wire, uh, so uh, we can use this with that accuracy because there were three wires and we used it well. Demo will be building blocks. So those are the two uh, thermocol blocks. Now uh, someone will control the uh, robotic arm and he will build blocks. Now parallelly you can see the simulation of in Blender going on in insert. Now I successfully build the two blocks. One of the major challenges were to make this mechanical arm intuitive. For this, we have kept the potentiometers at the exactly same relative positions as that of the robotic arm where there are servo motors. So, whenever we make a movement on the mechanical arm, it will be replicated exactly on the robotic arm. Second major issue was with the blender, to make the blender simulation runtime. For this, we have created the game logic in blender. In this, for every 15 frames, a delay message is called, which runs the, uh, which runs the Python script. This script creates the simulation and sends a message that it has created the simulation. In turn, this message will run the action which is the simulation in our blender. In this way, for every 15 frames, the blender simulation updates the, uh, sim uh, the simulated arm and also sends the values to the robotic arm. We have done the whole project in Linux and uh, one of the important achievements of a project is that we have decoded the string that is used for communication with the robotic arm. So the, the format of the string is as follows. So it starts with an ash and then followed by the number of the servo motor and then followed by the absolute angle and speed of the motor. So using this, uh, after that it is followed by 4 stars. So using this format, the robotic arm can be controlled from any programming language in any operating system. So coming to the enhancements of our project, uh, we have currently a wired connection from, the, from our laptop to the robotic arm that can be made wireless and then uh, the robotic arm can be made mobile so that its area of contact is increased the mechanical arm can be remodeled to fit the human arm so that the control is more intuitive and uh, better handling of the ro robotic arm can be achieved through that. Uh, regarding the practical applications, uh, the bomb diffusal that we have seen can be put into real life as well as the building blocks can be actually incorporated in a mason's part of work so that his work is made easier. 